Any questions? All right, then let's come where we left off. This should look somewhat familiar to you. So first of all, an object wants to keep doing whatever it's doing, in other words, maintaining a constant velocity. That's summed up mathematically in Newton's second law, what we have explored in the last two labs. The total force is mass times acceleration, so if the total force is zero, this is the total force is zero, that means that the acceleration is zero. And if acceleration is zero, velocity doesn't change. If velocity doesn't change, which means that delta v is equal to zero. So we have the three conditions of equilibrium. So if velocity is zero, that means, or sorry, change in velocity is zero, that means that whatever speed and direction an object has, it will try to maintain that. The only way an object will not maintain current speed and direction is if the net force is not zero. So if there's somehow, a, in order to make something change, you have to force it. All right, that's Newton's second law, which is just the math form of Newton's first law. Newton's third law, we've actually been using We talked about when you're doing the force diagrams that they come in pairs. Forces come in pairs, and each force of that pair should be pretty much a repeat of what we did a couple weeks ago. Each force of that pair acts on a different object. some different object. Um, each force is the same magnitude as the other force in that pair. And each force in that pair points in opposite directions. That's Newton's third law. What's the more common form of Newton's third law? One that I'm sure all of you have heard. because it's, the word reaction there is different in physics than it is in everyday life. So, and again, as in one of the videos, there's a 
years ago, someone was justifying mass homicide uh, because of Newton's third law. Uh, person got pushed, therefore his reaction would have been equal and opposite. Uh, that is not at all. Uh, that's a misuse of the word reaction in physics, and it really, physics should not be used to justify murder. Now, to apply that, because there's a question in the master set, and I've been doing it for the last couple of tests, of sort of dealing with this, of actually applying it. Applying it. So we'll just start out with a man pushes a box to the right. Seven newtons of normal force. This is a simple statement. I got a box, a man pushes it on it, seven newtons is the magnitude of force. I have a direction, I have a magnitude, I have two objects. Forces require two objects. What are the two objects involved here? there. I have a force. Uh, another one. Uh, I say back to this other force in the pair. And each force of that pair is the same type. All right. So the first one acts on different objects. I got two objects. Done. Uh, same magnitude as the other force. What's the magnitude of this force? All right, so that's going to be the same for both. Points in opposite directions. Well, what's the direction of this one? And they are the same type of force. What is the type of force is this? All right. So when I want to talk about the equivalent force here, all I'm doing is flipping the objects and flipping the direction. Everything else stays the same. So a box pushes a man to the left with seven newtons of normal force. I still have the same objects. All I've done is just flip them, and when I flip them, I flip the direction. That's as simple as that. We've been doing it when we did the force diagrams, because we talked about forces coming in pairs. They're in opposite directions. They're acting on the different objects, such as the Earth is pulling down on me with uh, my weight. I'm pulling up on the Earth with my weight. They're both gravitational forces, they be the same magnitude, about 220 pounds, and uh, opposite directions. The Earth pulls down on me, I pull up on the Earth. So that's it, that's Newton's third law right there. Definitely not as short and abbreviated as the action-reaction version, but more accurate. Questions to hear? All right, so let's talk about what's going on. So today is the seventh. Uh, master set four and five, I believe, is I have written down here. It's due a week from today. And the first test is two weeks from today. So that'd be the 21st. And for those just tuning in. All right, so 914. 
master set, four or five. It's one, one set. And 921. venture in to a new world. Questions before we do so? New world as in material not on the first test. All right, and just for ease of posting, I'm going to stop this.